Hello everybody. What is the best value in silver these days? Well here lately where I live, you can find raw circulated foreign coins like this Balboa or like these Philippine coins. This is a 20 centavos one. Or a 50 centavos one like this. Or even like this Cuban star coin, which is 1920. It's 90%. 5 grams. And then I have a few more of these other ones that came in the same bag. They're the well, there's a small Cuban coin there, and a couple more of the of the Philippine coins. And then I had another one in the bag. Now, when I bought this bag of coins. A coin dealer told me it was priced at melt. So, melt was lower then. There's a random pile of some silver coins with the biggest one being that. Now, the other day I went by a shop. I got this bag, which I'm just going to put them all in my hand. So you can see how many coins it was. This many. A lot of them are small Canadian dimes and stuff. There are a few bigger coins in it. It's a good sized pile. This stuff was $1.46 a coin. And these bigger coins are definitely worth more than $1.46. Let's have a look at some of these real quick. Because in this is a quarter Balboa and it is dirty but it's 53 it's 90 percent silver six and a quarter grams uh, there's more of the Philippine coins another 20 centavos one then there's Canadian 1952 quarter 80 percent silver Couple more coins. Um, these are worn kind of bad I, on this side. It's kind of hard to tell what country they're from, but uh, British 1915. This is sterling. Another 80% quarter, an 80% quarter Canadian French franc coin from 1901, which I think is 0 0.835. This one's a 68, might be a 50% coin. Another Cuban star that's not too badly worn. It's a 1915. 5 grams, 90%. Then there's, I think this might be a German coin from 1915. And. It's a badly worn Queen Victoria coin. It's probably a 10 cent coin. Yeah, because the half 5 cent one's smaller. So it's a 10 cent one, but it's worn pretty bad. And then there's a whole bunch of Canadian dimes of various years. A couple heavily worn coins. 
but all in all, a dollar forty-six coin. I don't feel like I did too bad. And that's probably where you're going to get your best deals, like a lot bag full of coins being sold as a group. And uh, this a dollar forty-six a coin, and there was three point eight troy ounces of coins in the bag, which given their 80%, 75%, 90% differences, I'm going to say it's at least 3.2 troy ounces of silver in the bag. So, I don't think I did too bad on that. That's probably where you'll get your best deal on silver coin right now, is coins that are uh, random world coins that people don't really care too much about these kind of coins. Even if they do have interesting history, being that they were made in the United States for the Philippines during World War II. Anyway, have a good day. And like and subscribe if you like this kind of content.